Welcome to FreeCAD 1.0. Today, we're diving into the world of FreeCAD and learning about one of its most important features, workbenches. If you're new to FreeCAD, this video is for you. So what exactly is a workbench in FreeCAD? Think of it like a toolbox. Each workbench contains a specific set of tools designed for a certain type of task, whether you're sketching, modeling parts, assembling components, or creating technical drawings. Let's take a quick look at some of the most commonly used workbenches in FreeCAD. First up is the part design workbench. This is where you will spend most of your time if you are remaking solid 3D mechanical parts. It's built for creating parametric models using sketches and features like pads, pockets, and fillets. Next is the sketcher workbench. This is where everything usually begins. You draw 2D shapes, here like rectangles, circles, and custom profiles and then use those sketches to build 3D objects and other workbenches. Then we have the part workbench. This one is great for working with basic geometric shapes and using Boolean operations like union, cut, and intersection. It's simple, but powerful. If you're working with multiple parts, you'll want to check out the assembly workbenches like a 2 plus or assembly. Four, these let you bring separate parts together and define how they connect and move relative to each other. Want to create 2D technical drawings from your 3D models? That's where the TechDraw workbench comes in. It helps you make dimension drawings that you can export to PDF or print out for manufacturing. You can easily switch between workbenches using the drop-down menu in the top toolbar. For example, you can sketch in the Sketcher workbench, switch to Part Design to pad the sketch, and then move to TechDraw to create a drawing all in the same project. FreeCAD also allows you to expand its capabilities. With a built-in and not-in manager, you can install custom workbenches like sheet metal, arch for architectural design, and fasteners for adding screws, bolts, and nuts. Each workbench serves a purpose, and by combining them, you unlock the full potential of FreeCAD. And that's a quick overview of workbenches in FreeCAD. Hopefully, now you understand what they are, how to use them, and which ones to start exploring. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to FreeCAD 1.04 for more tutorials. Have any questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.